Hey guys, Dan from italkcap 123 here, and I'm just going to do a review of the Samsung Mythic. Let's start off with the home screen. So here I have a uh, couple of notifications. Uh, right there. Uh, missed call, text message, voicemail. Uh, now, if I want to unlock it, I'll just... And as you can see, the background changes, so that's pretty cool. So, unlock it, I hold this. Um, now to move things around the home screen, you just push down and you move them. There are three home screens. So I have nothing on. This one's pretty clustered. Okay, so let's say I want to move something uh, back onto the home screen. I just have to open up the dock and I drag and put it there. And it's pretty simple. Now let's go into the menu. Um, okay, so if you want to move something around in the menu, you just hit the, the top button, and it'll allow you to see all these things. So, then you can change something, you can delete it if you want, but I'm not going to delete anything right now. So, let's save, yeah, didn't do anything though. Okay, uh, so this is a pretty cool application that I like, so I already have a drawing here. So this is called Sketchpad, and you can draw stuff. Oh, oops. So, so let's say I want to draw something. Yeah, see, it's pretty cool. You can draw with your finger. It's a fun thing to do in your spare time. And if I want to go back, instead of hitting the red button, I can just hit the middle one, which takes me back to the. I'm gonna hit new. No. Uh, yeah, I should go back one more. Yeah, so there it is. And a lot of things, like calculator, for example, that's also on the home screen. Let me show you. See, it's right there on the home screen. So, yeah, a lot of the applications are also in the menu. Um, so, that was some software. Let's go into hardware. Okay, so on the back, there's a... Uh, 3.2 megapixel camera uh, that has flash and autofocus. Right there, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Right there, uh, and here we have the charging cable. So we put that in, and you charge. Um, this thing has a pretty good battery life. It's um, about, I guess, three days without a charge. I don't know exact numbers. But it's pretty good for a touchscreen phone. Uh, yeah, and on the top it says um, the day and the time. It's kind of similar to the iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, but also, when you want to send a text message, so let's open up. Uh, okay, let's go into the menu. Uh, so on the menu, if you want to send text message from the menu, you can just hit message. Now, this is a pretty cool feature. Now, of course, you can just tap, do this, rotate on the side, do that. Or, let's change it back. You can go to this thing, change that to handwriting. This is pretty cool. So you can, like, like you can see I hit an L or a um, and what I like to do is sometimes I just scribble and see what letter it makes out of it. So that's pretty cool. It can also shift, like, yeah, uh, that's cool stuff. Um, so there are other applications, but I'm not, there's a lot of them actually, but I'm not going to go over every single one because of course there's a lot. So uh, anyways, if you have any questions on, um, anything, on the phone just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them also um, I'll put my Twitter inside I just made it Twitter so you guys can follow me I mean yeah that's about it so please comment rate and subscribe uh, thanks guys